The Erie County Sheriff's Office raided an illegal cannabis dispensary on Grand Island. We are now learning more about how law enforcement actually learned about the entire operation. Tonight, the Sheriff's Office tells us that the Grand Island superintendent played a role in kicking off the investigation. Two on your sides, Nate Benson joins us. So, Nate, how did the school superintendent learn about the dispensary? Well, Mary Alice, it turns out the superintendent learned about the illegal dispensary on Grand Island during a community forum. It's very frustrating, not just uh, in this instance, but in a lot of instances. Chief DJ Granville is with the Narcotics and Intelligence Division at the Erie County Sheriff's and Office. And the number of illegal cannabis dispensaries popping up in Erie County is keeping his division busy. These are situations where uh, everyday lives are affected. The office knows that the location of these dispensaries are openly shared on social media. And yes, his team is watching. And it's something that we utilize on a daily basis. But they're also counting on tips from the general public, such as the case in the raid at the Island Smoke Shop on Grand Island Boulevard last week. That tip actually came from the Grand Island School District, specifically a tip submitted to the district during one of their regular um, community forums. Was that we got information from somebody watching that said that the smoke shops on Grand Island were selling uh, illegal cannabis and other paraphernalia to children. Grand Island Superintendent Dr. Brian Graham says they're seeing more and more cannabis products being consumed by students, with some products being confiscated on school grounds. Some of those products turned out to contain traces of opioids, amphetamines, and even bath salts. We had such a significant issue that a few adults had to go and get treated uh, by their physicians. And that's even coming in contact with residue. You know, as an administrator who's dealing with this on the front lines, what do you want to see done at the state level to try and get a control of this problem? There probably needs to be a comprehensive um, approach with the federal and state officials. But also continued communication with the community. Uh, we have to just do everything we can to work with our stakeholders to, to develop uh, a culture of trust. For Chief Granville, the support he wants to see is the state locking the doors of these illegal dispensaries after they're caught violating the law. Because in the case of the one raided on Grand Island last week, it's still open. Um, we're, we're letting people go that quite frankly should at the very least spend, spend a night in the holding center um, and have some type of bail placed on them uh, for some of the offenses they're committing. Now, we asked the sheriff's office if they knew how many illegal dispensaries there were in Erie County, but they did not provide an estimate. However, they did say that they believe many of them are connected to larger criminal operations. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.